once again, you know what time it is. It's time for the Taco Homies. Yeah, you know this, man. That's Dustin Plates. As usual, Mango Asan. And guess what? We are not in the usual spot. We're on location. We are outdoors. We are outdoors today. In Jamestown. It's a nice fall day. Check this shit out. In October. It's a nice fall day. Leaves and shit. Yeah. Yeah, y'all might see some shit falling. You might see some leaves falling. That's you know, like special, there's a tree. special effects and shit. Right there. You know, we just heard some squirrels up in the tree. Yeah. Fucking and shit. Yeah. The motherfuckers get that ass, boy. <laughs> Then it stopped like you nutted and fell asleep. It's a whole different, it's a whole different experience. It is. You're gonna hear a lot of trucks. It's, this is James time, man. So anyway, we're gonna begin the show. We got a few good topics today, too. Yeah. So what do you wanna begin with, man? Um I wanna begin with Cam Hayward. You already know how I feel. Yeah. Still is baby. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I just, um, can I say, I just want to say, I'm going to let you roll with this yeah. one. I'm going to let you roll with this one. Yeah. Bullshit. What? Yeah. Um, is, is that it? Um, go ahead, man. First off. You already know how I feel, man. All right. So, so the players are allowed to, they are allowed to wear eye black. Right? But for some reason, they're not allowed to write words in them. Um, I couldn't really look up the actual reason why. But I'm assuming there's some, you know, there was probably some shit that happened a long ass time ago where somebody was writing some shit and defended somebody. Um, so, dude was honoring his father. Was played for the NFL, goddammit. He was, was, was an NFL baller with the words Ironhead, that was his nickname, who, who passed away from cancer. What month is this? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. All right, so so dude passes away from cancer. His son is honoring him by writing his nickname on his, on his cheeks, and uh, the NFL fined him twice for it. And it's like, dude, so so he went to meet with the NFL execs, and he's like, listen, this is what's going on. This is why I'm doing it. Um, they fined him twice, this but they agreed to lower the fines. They told him that they will they'll, they'll lower the. He's still getting fined. They're gonna lower the fines. And he has to find some other way to honor his dad. And my question is, the integrity of the NFL is to shock the shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. For a person to come out there, give you blood, give you sweat, give you tears mm-hmm. for this fucking game, what I call a business. Not to mention. I mean, what do you... This is where it gets... What, 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 are, what are they really... This what are their feelings weird. about his father? This is where it gets weird. That's the shit. Right? Last year, there was a player named Devin Stills. Plays for the Bengals, I think. He wore eye black with his daughter's name on it. Mm-hmm. Leah Strong. Mm-hmm. And anybody that knows the story, you know, his, his daughter was diagnosed with cancer. He he led this big, you know, big, huge, you know, made, made a big deal about it. It was great. It was, you know, every time you bought his jersey, it was, he had a number one top selling jersey last year because of it. Anytime you bought his jersey... Um, the money went to cancer research, and um, because of it, I mean, in reality, he was gonna get cut from the team. This dude was gonna get cut. Mm-hmm. Um, they decided to sign him to the tr- practice squad yep. to kind of help, so that they basically said, "Listen, you you can play on the practice squad. That way, your medical bills, your daughter's medical bills, are taken care of." So, uh, hell yeah, of course he's gonna do it. He ended up showing that he was good enough to make it on. T- he's on the team. He's not a starter, but he's on the team. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, big deal, you know. It, it was an inspirational, you know. He's, he's it was a, it's an awesome story. It was I mean, an awesome you know, story. Watching the story and everything. Um, it's the same. It's the same shit. Right? Yeah. I mean, It's so the same shit. It's like, what makes that okay, yeah. but this not okay. Right. And then, re- once again, we're still talking about cancer. We're talking about a little girl who's fighting. I we're just, talking about, you know, they, they make October breast Cancer awareness month, but it's cancer period. Cancer's cancer. Period. Yeah, so exactly. It doesn't matter. You know, which I think, you know, a lot of people will probably profit big from this oh, yeah. month. You know what I'm saying? With the t shirts, all the pink and everything. And, you know. Yeah. 
everybody's gonna profit from something that's like supposed say, to be proceeds. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, you know, what know from something that's because WWE serious. they're cashing in on oh, this. Oh, they're shit. cashing in. As soon they're as cashing you be in. Cold I mean, as soon as like, we're partnering you up, you know, they're like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it hits midnight, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. October first, they got the middle yeah. rope and everything ready to go. So yeah, but it's a, it's a, come on now, come on now. He's honoring his father. You know, yeah. it's not like something, you know, selfish or whatnot. It's, it's cancer month, man. You know what I'm saying? So, NFL, no fun league. It's, it's, it's a pussy fucking league, man. It's bullshit, yeah. man. I mean, I'll say what the fuck I want to. So, you know, Roger Goodell is from here, Jamestown. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and hey, man, he can, if it's the, the guys that work under him or whatever, the board or whatever. Yo, dude, you got a part of all this shit. You are the commissioner. So... Stop fucking up this shit, man. Stop fucking up the rules, too. I'm getting quite tired every year. You got some bullshit going on. You know what I'm saying? But, come on. You're going to find a person for giving it up for their father who gave up, like I said, his blood, sweat, and tears yeah. for the NFL? It's just wrong. It's fucked up. So, you know NFL. I'm starting to, you know, for real, man. Tacos! This last couple of weeks... Mm-hmm. Have been a tough couple of weeks in Laker Nation. I don't. It's it's hard to talk about. All right. First off, Matt Barnes. Now, you look at this dude. You know, you don't know what level he is, but you know he's got some gangster. In him. You you can tell. And this dude. And I, I don't fault him for any of this, all right? Darren Fisher is fucking his wife. Now, they're not even divorced. They're not divorced. Banging her, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Taking pictures of Matt Barnes' kids with Derek Fisher. Oh, man, see. Right posting there? them on Instagram. Ooh. Matt Barnes left Memphis during the training camp. Like, just left in the middle of the train. Like, yo, I'm out. Traveled 95 miles to beat the piss out of Derek Fisher. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't even know. Yo, I, I told this story to some people who know me as a Lakers fan and watch some Lakers games because of it. And they're like, Derek Fisher was the quiet one. Like, he was the nice one. Right. Like, how would he do that? And it's like, damn. You know, I don't, I don't blame Matt Barnes at all. Hey, you know. The, the professionals are saying, oh, it's, it's both their fault. Their official shouldn't have done what he done. Matt Barnes shouldn't have done what he done. I'm like, let's go. The league hasn't even suspended this dude. Nothing yet. They didn't have to find him. Nothing. So it's like, what's going to happen? Even some of the NBA catchers are like, yo, um, he kind of had a, a reason. I mean, if you think about it. I really mean, think about it. What the hell would you do? Yeah. I mean, okay. Fuck the bitch, you know what I'm saying? She's a whore or whatever, you know, she's a slut bag, skank, yeah. molly wop, fuck. But the kids, man, when you taking a picture with, see, Derek Fisher. And it's not like these dudes had a grudge against each other. These nah. guys actually liked each other. I mean, this is my thing. That pussy must be fire. Because <laughs> you taking a picture with the kids. To and, me, oh, come on, man. like as a Lakers fan, I just can't help but think of Paul Gasol and Shannon Brown a couple years ago. I mean, that's what broke the franchise up. You know, people don't see Paul Gasol as the guy that changed the franchise, but he was. You know, when Paul Gasol came to the Lakers, the Lakers was a team that couldn't make it past the first round. He came to the Lakers, they went to three straight NBA Finals. Three. And, you know, most people think of him as as the third guy behind Andrew Bynum. But the truth of the matter is, Andrew Bynum didn't really do shit until their last year as a unit. I can tell you what, though. I know where Andrew Bynum didn't do shit. Yeah. (laughs) But anyway... Um, it, you know, the, the last year that the Lakers were, were, were relevant and they were in the playoffs trying to make a push, Shannon Brown was fucking Paul Gasol's ex. And it fucked with Paul Gasol's mind. During the fucking playoffs, your second best player. Shannon Brown, you know, I mean, he was decent, but he was on the bench. So it's like, now Paul Gasol, yo, everybody knows he's, he's emotional. He's an emotional cat. And, yo, he just couldn't get his mind right. And the whole fucking series, we went out 4-0 to the to the Mavericks, swept the Lakers in the second round, and it's like, damn, 
And the Lakers haven't been shit since. In reality, the Lakers have not been shit since. And it's like, see, when you see this, you get your emotions fucked with, man. Yeah. Wow. It's a whole different. It's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. And it's like, you off your game. Especially in that situation with Paul Gasol and Shannon Brown. Shannon Brown, he was a Laker. He could have had any girl he wanted. Any girl he wanted. Tell hey, me. Why are you going after a teammate's wife? Hey, I don't know. I think a lot of people get off on that type of shit. Yeah. You know, you know and, 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 you know, Derek Fisher and Matt Barnes, it's like, these dudes liked each other as teammates. I mean, and, and Derek Fisher was a likable guy, so it was natural. These dudes liked each other. And, I mean... Post some pictures with dudes. Fuck them! If you haven't been living underneath a rock for the last two weeks, you somehow heard about the Lamar Odom situation. Oh, it's fucking sad. That's crazy. Uh, it's, it's to understand what happened. Oh, um, dudes fucking whores and doing way too much <laughs> of something. Uh. He was, off, off, off Yo, the pills he was at a brothel. He was at a brothel. He was at a brothel. At a brothel. With white discharge coming out of his nose. Passed out. He's breathing. He's talking. He's he's good now. Yeah. Two weeks later, he's feeling great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, Kobe rushed out of the Lakers training camp to, to, to be by his side, which I didn't know Kobe was that tight with Lamar Odom. I didn't know they was tight like that. I mean, I know they were teammates, but to, you know, I didn't know they was tight like that. Um, Pretty sure Chloe was there. Lot of ho- I mean, sift a lot. I mean, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian was there. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, and she 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 was there the entire time, and that's when people start realizing, like, okay, you know, these, these people still love each other. Like, the, yeah, they've been having issues for the last couple months. We've even talked about it, but with the, all the issues going on, this dude's laying up in in the hospital, maybe dying. She was there. She dropped everything to be there, including James Harden. <laughs> <laughs> Who, you know, I feel bad for him. yo. He fell, off, fell on his beard. He so he bounced though. He bounced. Now they're back together, which I don't know what the hell that means right now, man. Give it four months. If they're still together, I believe it. Yeah. And if some shit happens and they split up, well, I, I seen it coming. Um, but man, you know, to understand what Lamar Odom's going through. He wasn't. He's not a natural drug addict. I'm gonna tell you what. He's been through some shit. He's been through some things. He gotta get the fuck out of L.A. That's the worst place to be. Yeah. He gotta get the Move fuck. Out. Get to the Maine. Move somewhere. Somewhere like east, man. Move. Yeah, Maine. That ain't. Yeah. That's that's right. Way the fuck east, like way up yeah. there, like you know what yeah. I'm saying. That's that'd probably be the perfect spot for him. He ain't gonna do it, <laughs> cause now he's, nah. he's with his Kardashian lady. She ain't yeah. going up there. Nah, she damn sure ain't going up there. <laughs> but yeah. to understand, if you really love him, Chloe, what what Lamar Odom has been through, um, lost his mom and his grandmother last year within a month of each other. That's crazy. They both passed away. Yeah. Um, had a newborn baby that passed away this year, early. They're saying January, February time. Mm. Those three things all together, plus getting divorced. Mm. I mean. That should have fucked him. No. Not to mention, he really wasn't ready to retire. He still wants to play ball. Right. He can't. Nobody wants to hire him. So he's going through all sorts of shit. Yeah. And I'm not going to say it's okay to fuck horrors or do drugs. But it's kind of understandable, given that situation. When I first heard about this, my first thought is, he's got a little bit of a bitch ass in him. And as, as Taco Homie, you know what I'm saying? We might have to say something about him being, you know, fucking up. But we'll, we'll, we'll let him live. The dude we'll, we'll almost died. Yeah, we'll let him live. <laughs> no pun intended. No yeah. pun intended. But yeah. we'll let him live on this. One, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Hey, who knows? How would you feel if you know exactly. all this shit? You know exactly. But at the same time, That's he was getting shit to deal fucked with. up before that too. That's a lot of shit to deal. But yeah. it will intensify shit too. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's like you give a motherfucker a nice hamburger, but you take him to the hamburger spot. Yeah, he gonna try to eat all the motherfuckers yeah. once he takes that first jump off. You know. Mm-hmm. Tacos. Now is always food, man. Yeah, I gotta dude, that's do some us. other. That's yeah, what we, we are. Yeah, we used to <laughs> fat some bitches. We are the taco homies. We are. So. We are. We and this guy here. Yeah. 
Your name is mango and my name is plates. Everything we do is food. It's food. Man. It's food. We got to jump back on that, too. <laughs> the food. He said something. My man right here. Yeah. He said something about an eating contest. I want to do it. I'm his manager. I ain't getting in that I shit. I want to do it. Unless it's a stack of pork chops. So we got to gonna find somebody. Heart attack right on camera. What I want to do, and I didn't even want to really talk about it on camera, but I will, is come up with 10 random, cheap, fast food ideas. AJ's hot dogs, McDonald's burgers. I hate McDonald's burgers, but they're fucking cheap, and it's a competition, so it's kind of like deal with you it. You know what? This is what we do. We go for and cook the shit. Fuck that, pan. We do Them that, too. We just get some ground beef and shit. And we could do tacos and hamburgers. We got to do a competition. What we're, what we're trying to do right now is to get y'all involved. Yeah. Would you like to challenge this man? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. Would you like to challenge this man? Yeah. I don't think many of you motherfuckers out there can beat this game. If y'all live in the area, let us know. Um, if you don't live in the area, take your ass in the car, plane, train, automobile, whatever yeah. the fuck. <laughs> this is the man right here. But, yeah. I mean, we, we got to find somebody. We got to find somebody to, uh, you know, take on this challenge. And we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes, but it's definitely something we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do it. You know, somebody. Somebody out there. Somebody. Oh.